It's really difficult to say how long it takes to learn to inject a baby or a toddler. Um, everybody's different. The actual procedure of doing an injection isn't difficult, um, but it can take time to gain confidence in injecting a baby or toddler, particularly if your child's um, quite wriggly or gets upset or frightened. Generally, a baby or toddler would have an injection of short-acting insulin each time they have a meal. Um, and coupled with that, they would have a long-acting insulin in the evening or the morning, or possibly both. But those are only general guidelines. Every child's different, and your children's diabetes team will advise you on the best way for your baby or toddler to have their injections. Young babies and toddlers can react to injections in very different ways. At best, it's going to be an annoyance and at worst it's going to be painful or, or um, upsetting for them. So they might cry, they might struggle, they might run away and hide, or uh, they might try and use delaying tactics, things like that. It's really important that you prepare your baby and toddler as well as you can for an injection so that they know what's coming. So depending on their age, explain to them what's going to happen in words that they can understand. Show them the equipment and let them touch it or play with it, or maybe even give Teddy an injection. Let them cuddle a favourite toy or look at a favourite book or have a favourite television programme on in the background as a little bit of a distraction. Do your best to hide your own anxieties and fears from your child. Children are really good at picking up when their mum and dads are anxious, so any anxieties that you show will be magnified in your baby or your toddler. And get everything ready before you start the injection, so there's going to be no delays. And you might even want to do that in a separate room, so the child doesn't see it happening and it can reduce the anxieties. When you're giving a baby or a toddler an injection, you need to hold them quite securely, but not too firmly. Think about which site you're going to use. If it's going to be their buttocks, you might like to lie them over your lap and inject in the buttocks. If you're going to inject in their legs, you might like the them to sit on your knee so that they can cuddle you and you can reach round them and do the injection. Parents do find ways that work for them and your children's diabetes team can be really useful in showing you ways of holding your child which is secure but not too firm. It's not uncommon for a baby or a toddler to refuse an injection so the key really is to give them something that they can choose. It's generally not an option for them to choose whether to have the injection or not, but they can choose which toy they'd like to cuddle while they're having the injection, or which book they'd like to look at. Our skin is full of nerve endings, and it, when you do an injection, if you hit one of those nerves, it's going to hurt. Some things can help with the pain. So for example, putting the needle in quickly tends to make it less painful, as can numbing the skin with ice before the injection. It's also a good idea to check with your children's diabetes team that your injection technique is right and that you're using the right length of needles because if there's something wrong with that, that might be increasing the pain for your child. Pretty well all parents worry about injecting their baby or toddler for the first few times. And it's easy to say, but it is something that gets easier with practice. And you worry you'll never get the hang of it and you'll do it all wrong and your child's diabetes will be completely mismanaged and it'll all be your fault. But really just to reassure parents, you might not know much about type 1 diabetes at this time, but you do know your child and you know what works for them. You will find a way of injecting your child safely that becomes a normal part of your family life. Always vary your injection site. Use a new needle each time you inject. Count to 10 slowly before you remove the needle. Dispose of sharp safely. For any concerns at any time, speak to your child's diabetes team. For more information on how to manage your child's diabetes, go to www.diabetes.org.uk slash parents.